Hello everyone, welcome to Productivity Central where we build real world use case solutions and we have an entire playlist for that. Please do check it out. And today I will be showing you how you can add drop downs in your form directly. So let's click on all items and let's add a new entry. This is how the drop down menu will look like. We will be doing this with the help of SharePoint list. Without wasting any time, let's get started. You can do this by creating a new SharePoint list. Right now, this app is connected to a main SharePoint list database, which is called inventory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new list. So I'm going to go to the home page of my SharePoint website and I'm going to click on the plus sign over here on the left hand side and I'm going to click on list. Let's click on create a blank list. Let's name it status. Now let's click on create. All right, perfect. So now we have our SharePoint list created. So what I'll do is I'll just add new entries over here. So click on the new item and just add the items one by one. So first in storage, if you go back now, another one that we have is decommissioned. So I'm going to copy this. Control A and then Control C on your keyboard and I'm going to go back on the new list and I'm going to add this new entry. All right. So the next one is inactive. I'm going to go back to the new SharePoint list and click on new and add this. All right. Let's add the last entry which is deployed. So I'm going to click on new. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to save it. All right, perfect. So now we have our new SharePoint list created. After creating the SharePoint list, we will head back to the Power Apps. And over here on the left hand side, we will click on Edit Form so that this form is highlighted. Now what we want to do is we want to change the status box from just entering text to a drop down. So on the right hand side, click on Edit Fields. And over here under the status, click on this arrow pointing downwards and click on allowed values. All right, perfect. Now, after adding this, now what we need to do is we need to connect our SharePoint list to this power app. So for that, click on view and click on data sources and over here, click on add data and just look for SharePoint and select the SharePoint over here. And on the right hand side, select your website for the SharePoint and in your website find the new SharePoint list that we just created. So in our case it was status. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on connect. So now our database is connected from the SharePoint. Now let's go back to this box and let's click on it over here on the top where it says items parent dot allowed values. Just remove that. And if you are not able to remove that, just click on unlock over here on the right hand side and then you will be able to edit this. So just remove this and over here we will be connecting it to our new SharePoint list that we just added. So let's select this. All right. Perfect. All right. So now we have an error message over here. So let's see what it is. Let's click on that. Click on edit in the formula. All right. Over here. On the top where it says data card value 15 dot selected dot value all we need to do is just remove value and enter title all right after changing this value over here we only need to do one more thing before this is set up so just click on this box and go to advanced and over here under the items we have selected status but under the value we need to change this from compliance asset id to title because this is the title over here. So just select title. Perfect. All right. So now let's preview our app. All right. Perfect. So now when we click on the drop down, we have our values over here. All right. Perfect. So now if you want, as you can see right now, it's selecting the by default value of the first category, which is in storage. Now, if you want this to be blank, all you need to do is under allow empty selection, just click on that. So it is under advanced after you select this box, just make it true. 
all right perfect so once we change allow empty selection to true this value will be black so now when we preview the app perfect now it's blank when we click on the drop down we can select the options all right that's how you create drop downs in power apps if you find this video helpful please do like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notifications icon for instant notifications as i post these kind of helpful videos weekly and i build real world use case solutions based on the feedback from my subscribers so please do consider subscribing and if you have any suggestions for future videos please do mention in the comment section all right have a great day guys thank you for watching